In the following, I would like to show you how to uh, download and install uh, the program FreeMind for making uh, mind maps. And you click, you go to uh, Google and you search for FreeMind, as you can see here, and then you can find this uh, link here, FreeMind. You click on that, and then you will be directed to the FreeMind main page. Uh, as you can see here, there is a download area. If you click on that this uh, you'll be directed to the page where you can download the software uh, here you can see a main area where it says download these are programs that have been tested and they work quite well but there are some new versions if you go to the bottom where it says latest beta versions um, in that area you can actually choose to uh, uh, download the newest versions of FreeMind and I suggest you do that. On this page uh, you can find the newest versions and you have to look for this one uh, in the top that is always the newest version and uh, click on this little triangle and you're gonna see that it unfolds. Here you have different versions of FreeMind for different computer systems. This is for Mac and uh, underneath you have for Windows. Um, all the way down here you can see Windows versions. If you have a Mac, click on this link. And if you have a Windows machine, I suggest you click on the link you can see right here. Yeah, so I've downloaded FreeMind, installed it, and uh, now I'm gonna make a mind map. And I'm gonna make a party mind map, in which I will try to uh, put some uh, information about what I want uh, for my party. I want some guests to come to my party, so I'm gonna invite, make a list of uh, people that I'm gonna invite. And then uh, there are some possible venues. Where do I want my party to be uh, held? Um, and those venues I keep in here. And then also uh, I want to make some notes about what snacks to bring. And finally, what music we're going to play at my party. And so here are the guest list. Uh, I just want to make a list of names and since this is just a test map, I'm just going to write friend 1, friend 2, friend 3, etc. And this list could go on and I could just keep it going. And uh, the possible venues that I could uh, make my party would be something like, for instance, the local community house. Or maybe I could uh, use my friend's house. I'm going to write that here. Or maybe I could just use my own house. Okay, I'm going to move on. What snacks to bring? Um, I'm surely going to have some soft drinks. I don't really know whether I'm going to bring alcohol or not, so I'm going to write it and then, uh, or maybe not, and then question mark. Um, I want some um, potato chips and some popcorn, and I could just make a longer list depending on what I want to bring. Okay, moving on to music. I'm going to bring my favorite artists, and uh, since this is still just a test list, I'm going to write artist one, song number one, song number two, and uh, another artist as well, and so on and so forth. You just make the list go on and on and on with all your favorite artists and all your favorite songs. So this is my finished mind map of uh, the party that I'm going to make. Now that I've made my mind map, I'm going to take it and copy it and insert it into a word processor like Word or something like that. That will turn it into a list like this, which makes it more easy for me to see what things I have to do and in what order to do it. Another thing I can do if I go back to my mind map is I can give it a layout like this uh, so that I can see uh, my different levels in my mind map in different colors. And these colors will as well be um, pasted into my word processor when I copy and paste my mind map. I hope you found this introduction useful.